Hello traders, this is Elizabeth Belugina and you are watching daily stock market review by Tradimo. As it is Monday, I'd like to mention that this week will be very exciting. There will be lots of different events. Central bank meetings will take place. I mean the Federal Reserve meeting on Wednesday, the Bank of England meeting on Thursday, geopolitical developments, Brexit, European Union summit on Tuesday and Thursday respectively, and lots of economic data releases. So be ready for volatility in stocks and and in all other markets as well. Finally, there will be a meeting of oil exporters on Monday. So this will lead to some important developments in oil prices that uh, may have impact on other markets as well. You can see that the US dollar index declined from the highs of this year. And the US dollar is depreciating ahead of the meeting of the US Central Bank, which I have already mentioned. It is expected that the Fed will forecast only one or no interest rate hikes this year and make some dovish commands. This is negative for the USD. However, this is very, very good for US stocks. And we can see that the expectations of accommodative monetary policy in America is helping S&P 500 futures to get to higher levels. We can expect the positive uh, setting for the US stocks on Monday and Tuesday at least ahead of the meeting. Uh, however, not all US stock indexes are performing really well. If we look at Dow Jones Industrial Average Index futures, we will see that uh, here there was a decline during pre-market trading on Monday and it happened because of the Boeing company crisis. Boeing stocks actually account for 10% of Dow Jones Industrial Average and that is why the decline in Boeing price is negative and leads to decline in Dow Jones Industrial Average. As for Boeing, we can see that uh, there was a big gap on the weekly chart and last week the stock tried to close this gap but failed and formed a candlestick with a very long upper week. This is a bearish sign, a sign that Boeing may be about to test support in the area of 360 where we see a first support on the weekly chart in the form of a moving average. And the main problem for Boeing is that it, it one of its plane crashed recently and there is investigation and it seems that the investigation is showing that there are serious safety flaws in the company's jets, that the incident may be related to another crash which took place in October and Potentially, this will lead to re reduction in the number of orders for Boeing planes, the company's sales and revenues. So fundamentally and technically, we can expect lower levels for Boeing and it is potentially a good trade idea. If we have a look at the news from Europe, the main uh, event for the European stocks, the main uh, highlight here is that Deutsche Bank was given green light to negotiate a tie-up with Commerzbank and if these two German banks merge, a uh, fourth largest lender in Europe will be formed. So good news for both of the banks. However, there is still some uncertainty about the deal and you can see that further upside for Deutsche Bank will be possible only if the price breaks above resistance at 8.30 where we have the resistance, the upper border of the ascendant triangle. And for Commerce Bank, also the picture looks rather positive, but we are at the resistance of the channel. And um, unless we break to the upside, there will be a retracement that potentially may offer a chance to invest at lower levels. Thank you for your attention. Stay with Tradimo and be back for the 
review of stock market tomorrow. If you like this video, please subscribe to the channel.